everybody, my name is Tiptoe Online and I'm here today to talk to you about turtles. This is my backyard pond and it currently houses five turtles. Four of them are what's known as aquatic turtles and that means that they like the water a lot more than they like land. One of them is a terrestrial turtle and that means that she likes the land a lot more than she likes the water. A couple things I want to tell you guys about turtles before we kind of get into seeing a couple of them is that if you ever find a turtle in the wild, unless it's injured, make sure you leave it in the wild. Wild turtles don't make good pets for many reasons, one of them being that they're used to being out in the open and they have homes and they have families and they just don't do well transitioning to a pet. If you have a pet turtle, never release it into the wild because it won't do well. It won't know how to hunt for itself or protect itself from predators. All of my turtles are pet turtles. I got them as pet turtles. They never came from the wild. They're great pets. They're a lot of fun to watch, swim around, eat food, and crawl around. So if you're interested, always make sure you get a pet turtle. One thing I wanted to talk about with our pond is that we have a lot of plants inside of the pond. That serves a couple purposes. One is food for the turtles. They love snacking on the water lettuce and the water hyacinth. Another purpose is it serves as a place for them to hide if they ever get scared or a little bit shy or they feel threatened. We also have plants along the outside of the pond the whole way and that's for our terrestrial turtle who likes to crawl around and to hide underneath all the grasses and the plants. I think she's hiding over there right now but we'll check her in a few minutes and see if we can find her. We also have all of these logs and rocks along the edge of the pond and that's for the aquatic turtles to come out and bask in the sunlight when it's on the pond. They like to bask because it gets them warm and cozy and it helps keep their temperature regulated. All right, so now that we've talked briefly about the differences between an aquatic turtle and a terrestrial turtle, I'm gonna see if I can grab one of the aquatic turtles out. Like I said, we have four of them and we have four red-eared sliders. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, come on. We got one! So this turtle right here, <clears throat> her name is Sheldon. The other one's names that I don't know if we're going to get to see them today is Shelby, Aggie, and Evie. So, Sheldon is a red-eared slider. She's a little feisty because, like I said, she loves to be in the water. She's called a red-eared slider because of these little red marks on the side of her face. Unlike hermit crabs, who move out of their shells when they get too small and find bigger ones, turtles grow with their shells. And what happens when turtles grow with their shells is all of these little sections right here will kind of get a little bit tight and then they'll pop off what's called a scoot. And I have one right here. Excuse my cat, she also likes the turtles. So this is what a scoot looks like when it comes off of a turtle. It doesn't hurt them, it's totally natural, and it actually makes them feel a lot better when they come off. So exceptions to turtles being in the water, these turtles, is they come out of the water to dig a nest and lay some eggs, or to bask in the sun. So we have a bunch of logs and rocks all around our ponds for them to climb up on and then they just sit in the sun and they tan and they dry out a little bit and they have a lot of fun. You ready to go back in the water? Okay, say bye Sheldon. So now that I've shown you one of the aquatic turtles, I'm gonna show you a terrestrial turtle. I have what is called the Eastern Box Turtle, and she loves playing hide and seek. So let me see if I can find her. I think she's in these grasses right here. Yep. So this right here is an Eastern Box Turtle. One thing to note when holding turtles, you always place a hand on the belly and a one hand on the top of the shell. This makes them feel secure, so maybe she'll come out and say hi. So box turtles are different from the red-eared sliders because they love being on land most of the time. This particular turtle loves to go swimming. You can see she's got some of the pond plants stuck to her shell. Another thing about a box turtle that is different is, you know, turn her upside down, doesn't hurt her. She likes to 
flows up. And what that means is she has a hinge right here. And when she feels tired or sleepy or threatened, she'll put both of her back feet in and she'll put both of her front feet and her head in. So then she's totally boxed up, which is why she's known as a box turtle. The food for box turtles and red-eared sliders, most turtles of either aquatic or terrestrial, they like a lot of veggies, they like some fruit, and they love worms and snails and slugs. I'm just gonna hold it for a second and we'll see if we can get her to open up. So another little bit of information about a box turtle, or turtles in general, the top part of their shell is called a carapace, and the bottom part of the shell right here is called a plastron. See, she'll come out and say hi to everybody. Cora, do you want to come out and say hi to all the campers who can't be with us this year? We're doing a video right now to tell them all about you and all about your sisters in the pond. You want to come out and say hi? So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's this tiny little gooey part on her mouth that's from a slug that she ate those are one of her favorite treats hi Cora all right everybody thank you for joining me um, I hope you learned a little bit more about turtles today than you did before Cora is finally out of her shell she's getting ready to walk around so we're just gonna let her go and see what happens one more thing, I don't have a name for my pond yet, so if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. This is Tiptoe. Thank you guys.